ChatGPT Atlas was able to do all of this stuff for us without us having to do anything. Guys, this is a little bit freaky. I'm gonna, <laughs> when I finished testing this, uh, I was kind of blown away, okay? So see, it took a screenshot, it, it's going to the search and boom, it's already found a top rated supplier, this guy. I'm so glad we did it in a live environment where I found a bug and I was able to fix it. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I use AI to essentially automate finding suppliers from my e-commerce and my dropshipping businesses. Okay. Um, with the launch of ChatGPT Atlas, which is ChatGPT's own browser that integrates like web browsing with AI, um, a lot of possibilities have op have opened up, right? And a lot of people are using it to like book flights or, you know, uh, get their groceries. But the amount of business applications for this tool and this software are absolutely insane. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how, let's say you were doing some product research um, and you find a product that's doing 200K in sales. It's this particular one, right? This is a neck lifting uh, sort of red light therapy product and it's called lift lab sculptor right and it's very difficult to essentially understand for a lot of people how to you know what is the term to use uh, when searching for it on aliexpress or on alibaba to find suppliers okay and so in today's video i'm going to show you how you don't have to anymore AI will go to AliExpress and find this supplier for you. So we're going to do this step by step. Okay, so first step is open up ChatGPT Atlas. Now, I'm not too sure at the time of the recording how if available it is, if it's available in your country or not. I'm going to try and leave a link to ChatGPT Atlas in the description so you guys can go ahead and get it and download the browser. You're going to need the browser to be able to do this okay and then what you're going to want to do is whatever product you found of your competitor or i right, just paste that in over here okay now what ChatGPT atlas is it's a browser just like google chrome but it has this side companion right that is essentially ChatGPT. now the the benefit of atlas is for example if you wanted to ask ChatGPT a question about this you would have to open up another browser go on ChatGPT, right and then you're going to want to try to show it a screenshot or give it a link or xyz and try to make these two things work together which sometimes is difficult okay but with atlas what happens is chat gpt is integrated with the browser so it's it knows what's happening on the screen and it has context to be able to do things okay now what we've developed is a master prompt that will essentially find suppliers for you guys this is a little bit freaky i'm gonna <laughs> when i finished testing this uh, i was kind of blown away okay so i'm gonna show you how and the prompt is absolutely free all you have to do is comment ai ad academy and the prompt will be available inside my free ai ad academy which has a ton of different ai tools that for video editing image generations xyz you name it it's all inside my free ai ad academy and this will be as well so what do you do you go here you open ask chat gpt and then you put it in agent mode okay and then there's two options logged in or logged out i would just say log in so that it basically doesn't prevent a lot of stuff and you know chat gpt can go in and take certain actions for you okay it just makes the process a lot easier and that's it okay now it's basically asking you to describe a task okay now what you're going to want to do is paste my prompt and again it's going to be available inside my free ai ad academy and i'm going to go ahead and quickly paste it in all right so once you paste the prompt in you will see what's happening live on screen okay it's basically getting started all right now this prompt does is first it's going to extract i'm going to read through what's happening okay extract product details from the current web page to begin aliexpress image search okay so what it's basically going to do is it's going to grab a picture of what it sees okay on screen all right and then it's going to go to aliexpress and upload that image of the product and then find suppliers for this particular one so it's captured the screenshot okay now it's opening a, a new tab for the i mean just this alone 
is freaking crazy okay now it's, it's captured the screenshot now it's going to aliexpress it's grabbed multiple screenshots but it's deciding okay which one should i do for the final upload i'm hoping it selects the first one in my testing of this it knows what's the product and what's the box right so let's go and see what's happening okay now it's gone to aliexpress and it's on this page okay and now it's going to decide whether or not like it knows that it needs to x that it, ne it knows that it has to go up for the image search right it knows that it has to upload an image and it's thinking through all of this like like literally what you could do and sometimes like it's not perfect like sometimes it wouldn't get that but now like i put in stuff inside of that final workflow where it will go and find all of this okay this is absolutely crazy now it's going to upload an image of the product i hope it selected the right one yes perfect it's up it's uh, gonna upload this image i was uh when when this was happening when the final prompt was ready i was literally i had joe rogan i had a podcast playing um and it was literally like doing all of this right while i was just like watching like watching a show right like typically you'd have to go through different suppliers xyz and there's a ton of uh like um there's a ton of quality metrics that are put into this prompt okay so it's going to search for really verified suppliers people who've sold over 500 good reviews a uh, supplier that offers fast shipping all of that stuff Okay, like so it's it's called like a face neck massager, but over here, right, you don't know what to search for, right, when you're when you're doing this. And that's typically why when we developed this prompt, we did image search. Okay. And then another cool thing about this, guys, is that now see it's it's already now you could literally stop and take control. Right. But what this guy, what this prompt will do is it'll go through multiple different suppliers. It'll open up multiple different products. It will compare what it sees on the supplier side to the metrics we fed it. And it'll give you a list of evaluated suppliers that it trusts to, for you to do it. I mean, this is crazy. So if you ever land on a competitor's website and you're like, oh, dude, this product's cool. I want to drop ship it. And you don't want to kind of spend time searching for the perfect supplier you don't have to anymore just use this prompt use chat gpt atlas and and boom you're going to be able to to do automated product research which like what day and age are we living in that this is possible right so this is one version of it where you want to drop ship it i have another version of the same prompt that allows you to do it on alibaba so if this is if there's a supplement if there's something that um you want to source from uh, like like you don't you, you're not drop shipping you want a private label you want to import products we're going to walk through that prom next but what it's doing now it's going through multiple different suppliers it's comparing our supplier spec to all the different suppliers and then it's going to give us right a final uh, a final list of different suppliers that it thinks are perfect for uh, for us and i mean how crazy is that guys it's just we're living in we're living in crazy times and this is what i'm gonna do on the channel by the way uh, if you don't know who i am my name is ali and we look at e-commerce and drop shipping every single day this is what we do here and now with the with the uh introduction of ai what we're trying to do by developing ai employees and ai agents is automate a lot of e-commerce stuff that was redundant but we do it in a way that's easy for anybody to understand so if you're someone who's a little bit older a little bit more new to ai e-com making money online x y and z um this is the perfect place for you because i don't like over complicating stuff right like as you guys can see i put in one piece of text inside chat gpt atlas which is a software that i tell you how to download and everything is done for you and that's what we're doing here right so yeah this is pretty cool and done broom okay okay so expert so it's basically go, gone ahead all right um it's found this after uploading image search tools uh, but now see that that's what it's saying is that none of them met our strict drop shipping criteria of 500 orders a day so that's what that's one of the things in the in the master prompt that you can change right so i'm going to run it again 
okay but with not 500 orders with 200 orders but at the end of the day i mean any of these suppliers are fine but let's run it again with 200 orders as uh the because uh, we set the quality standard too high and so now let's go ahead and change that run it again you'll see it'll find it perfectly all right so i ran it again i just changed the 100 to 200 and when you get the master prompt all right so i'm back here in agent mode this is the master prompt okay now this is essentially what you can do so these are some hard safeguards that we've put in but based on your supply research you can change it so i'm gonna make i'm gonna remove this because it's fine for me right um, and over here i'm going to actually go up here and change this to over 100 orders so if it has over 100 orders that's fine if you want to change like ratings if you want to change processing time maybe your product isn't um maybe your product isn't um something where it's uh, it's it's it may still be new right so allowing you to be showing you how you can change the product research spec is important okay now we're going to hit it enter again now it'll run it and every time you run it for the product it becomes a little bit better a little bit faster at finding suppliers so now you will see how quickly we're able to go to aliexpress and do it but there are a few key things that make this workflow very diff uh, very easy right because when we were testing this for our research we found that if you just send it to AliExpress, it won't let it happen. It'll block the website. AliExpress actually blocks ChatGPT Atlas for some strange reason, but we found a workaround to that. Then when we were testing it, we found that when we basically give it a random product, it actually finds something completely different, right? Then we, we were like, okay, you know what? It's funny. This tells me that AI is very much like a normal human, right? So when a human does a search, right um and if i just go to aliexpress and if i just do a search i may not find the right thing right so let's go to aliexpress this is just doing stuff in the background let it do it it's going to do it exactly the same way but i'm pretty confident that it'll find it okay i'm just gonna like minimize this right i'm gonna call it lift device okay when i put this in okay look at it it's not found any of the right things it's it doesn't even give me one of the right recommendations right and this is i took the word lift from here i took the red light from here right it didn't even find one of the right freaking things and that's exactly what ended up happening when chat gpt tried to do it when it went here and went to aliexpress to find it it didn't find it so what we decided was and this is the, this is again um this is why even when you're preparing ai employees they have to learn from your mistakes so when that used to happen to me what i would normally do is i would just go here i would just take a screenshot of this okay and then i would just upload it on aliexpress and then i would find the right product and i was like wait why don't i just train this ai to do that and that's what we did and it's incredible now it's incredible now right so now again see it took a screenshot it it's going to the search it's trying to find it's it always takes time to find that camera icon maybe in a future iteration i'll make it a lot better where i'm like dude the camera icon is right next to the search right if i if i just tell it it will uh but yeah you know it's trying to find that camera icon. It takes a couple minutes, but normally it does, right? And sometimes you can just take control and be like, dude, it's right here. And then you can be like, okay, continue. Uh, but yeah, now see, it will find the camera icon and it will, it will upload the image and then boom. Now, because the product research spec isn't super high, we're going to go ahead. It, it's... <laughs> Sometimes AI is stupid. Sometimes AI is stupid. But yeah, it will try and it will it will find it. I think uh, this this happened with me last time as well. All right, guys. So what I went ahead and did was I updated the prompt to be able to find the camera button because I didn't want you guys to face this problem. And if you guys want to understand how I build these AI employees, as I like to call them, what I'm doing is on the 25th and 26th of November, we're doing a live event in Dubai. Um, I'll, leave the I'll leave the details of that in the description. If you want to come by, uh, please do, um, because I'm going to be doing a live session on how I actually build these AI employees that basically automate tasks. And if you're someone who wants to make a living building AI employees and selling them, right, uh, you will learn that entire process on this live event. So again, if you are interested in meeting with me and the team, click that link down below and, and um, uh, you'll be able to see it. OK, see now it's found the upload photo button, right, because it clicked that. 
And now it's going to go ahead and upload the photo. So me amending the prompt for you guys, it's going to make it super easy uh, for it to upload, uh, upload the image for you. And boom, as you guys can see, it was able to upload the image perfectly. And now it's going to go ahead and find the suppliers. And because we reduced the supplier count, uh, like the order count, it's going to find this product so much easier. I'm so glad we did it in a live environment where I found a bug and I was able to fix it. And again, if you want to learn how to create stuff like this, you know, come by uh, in Dubai. We're going to do a, a full on um, step by step on how we uh, do stuff like this. All right. Uh, but now, you know, in, in a matter of a few minutes, it's going to go ahead and find our product and give us a supplier again. For us, just reaching this point alone is good enough where we can just stop and we can start doing it. But hey, we don't want to, right? We just want ChatGPT to find it and boom, it's already found a top rated supplier. This guy sold over a thousand good reviews, X, Y, Z. And, you know, we can build in crazy stuff. I think the next iteration of this AI employee that I'll do, I'll have it find profitable suppliers. I'll have it find suppliers that are completely profitable. So it'll calculate the price and it will find a cheap supplier that is 1x the price and stuff, you know. And what's fun is to read how it does it. So again, perfectly, it's done. It's finally completed, right? So let me just expand this so that I can see this completely, right? It's gone through and it's found top rated suppliers for us. How can I... Um, Oh, oh yeah, I can open chat in a tab. That's good. Let's open chat in a tab so we can read it. Perfect. So see, it's identified the pro product. It's found our suppliers. It's looked at the sales, price range, shipping, delivery variants, and it's giving us some guidance, right? Check before ordering, verify seller quantity, red flags, communication, dispute reduction, long-term visibility. All that good stuff is already in here. So guys, this is insane 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 um where chat chat gpt atlas was able to do all of this stuff for us without us having to do anything for this major prompt let me know in the description down below and I, since this video has gone a little bit longer i'm going to do the private labeling one if you guys want it okay so if you want the whole private label like how it goes to alibaba and find suppliers if you want to import products let me know in the comments down below i'll send it over um, if you guys want this prompt, again, comment AI Ad Academy and I'll send you the link to my free uh, AI university where you guys can uh, learn everything about image generation, video generation and product research. And finally, for those of you guys who want to work with me closely, more one on one to be able to build and launch your e-commerce business where we find stores like this and we essentially create white label replicas that you can launch as your own click that first link in the description it's going to be for my white label drop shipping program it's our premier program where you work with me very closely to build and launch and build and launch like a six figure business all right with that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching this video appreciate each and every one of you and i'll catch you guys next one peace